guys, so today we're going to take a look inside the stomach of a carnivorous plant. This is my Nepenthes ventricosa by Trinquata. As you can see, there's already some ruminants that have spilled out throughout the little container I have in here. So, this is an old picture. It was already starting to die off. As you can see, it's brown on the top. And this is the inside. It's full of ants. Black glob right there. All ants. I can also see a wing in there. But it seems like right there, a little sort of maybe like a mealworm sort of thing. I don't know. You can still see tons of ants left inside of there. So I'll just use the tendril here to go through what is inside the stomach. It seems to be globbing together like a ton. You can see that right there. It's very, very nasty. It does not really have a smell. I was expecting it to smell horrible, but apparently it, I guess it just doesn't want to smell horrible, which is good for me. The fluid inside of a Nepenthes pitcher has antibacterial properties, which prevents fungus and stuff from growing, which is why you're not seeing tons of mold algae in here. If it was just regular water, you would see probably a ton of algae, especially since these guys grow in the jungle. I want you guys to get a close up of these ants. They are really cool looking digested. These ants were probably digested somewhere during the summer, and that's quite a few months. Now we're gonna take a look at another picture from the same plant. Let's just cut the top off. And I can already see in there there's some interesting stuff, more interesting than the last picture. Let me cut that down all the way so you guys can see it best some of the water out. Oh god. Ew, it's like one massive blob. This is an old pitcher and it stopped producing the antibacterial properties, apparently, because this is a massive glob of ant algae. So let's take a look at this massive, nasty blob. It comes off in chunks. I'm gonna poke around at it a bit and see what happens. Now we're gonna take another top-down shot. This is the first picture we opened. And there's the second picture we opened. This one's green and full of icky algae, and then this one is freshly digested ants, which is much nicer to look at. This is almost a too close-up shot. I do not want to get this stuff on my camera lens, but these ants are half transparent. It looks like the abdomens have been basically digested and used by the carnivorous plant. So there you have it guys, the stomach of two Nepenthes tropical pitcher plants. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up to let me know. And also leave me a comment if you have a question about anything covered in this video. Um, and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. And you can expect from me a cool, really cool 500 subs, 100,000 views special coming up within the next few weeks. It's going to be really good, so keep tuned. That's not the right phrase, but okay, bye. Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to separate your bromeliad pups from the mother plant. So first, you're just going to need a bromeliad, uh, preferably one that has flowered, because after they flower, they will make pups. 